you guys have a number of services now. Do you want to just kind of go over the, the, the suite of services? Because it's it's definitely evolved past, past selling singles. The ethos of the company has basically been find the things that artists are choosing to or are forced to sell on third-party platforms that they don't own that are branded as somebody else and bring it into the place that they do, their web store. And by doing that, it's white labeled. They're able to own the data. They, they own the branding. And it's just much more fair. They're able to make more money because they're not splitting it with some third-party platforms. We saw the opportunity in building out the live streaming side of things. And so that's exactly what we did. We went and, and made it possible for an artist to host live streams, much like you all did um, for the, the comedy shows in their own Shopify instance. It's their brand. We exist completely behind the scenes, much like Shopify does, but provide the technology for you to run that stream and, and have chat and all the bells and whistles that you would be used to on a platform that is build You're building their brand, that kind of thing. So the, that in after launching the the live streaming side of things we actually sold over a million tickets we've done over 500 different events it generated 24 million in revenue for artists in the last 16 months so it's been really successful our kind of main two products have been audio and video and now on the nft side of things we kind of see that as the way to bridge all of it together really the reason why we got into or started kind of going down the path of nfts is we just saw the same pattern that was happening that happened on the video side where artists started going to third parties like OpenSea and Nifty Gateway and all those uh, in order to sell NFTs. And one of the main reasons was we were doing the standard release of Kings of Leon. And then we saw that they did an NFT version that everybody was fairly aware of on OpenSea. And so we said, okay, like let's, we need to pay attention to this. That's another thing that seems to be seeding away from, from D to C. How do we make sure that that doesn't happen? And so, we reached out to Shopify and said, hey, we see that you have this beta program that seems to have started behind the scenes that they hadn't really announced yet around NFTs. And they called us the next day and said that they were very interested in, in us building something, mostly because they've seen the work that we've done in the past. Like we've, we've kind of had some of the most unique usages of Shopify, uh, I, I would say, out of their entire ecosystem. So. Audio, video, and now NFTs. We just keep looking for what's going to help artists make money. And you talk a little bit more to like the the importance of, of owning data. I'm sure. Um, yeah, absolutely. So we have. I could tell. So we've done the product side of things, but ultimately, overwrapping everything is is the data aspect of it. How do we feed all of this in the same place? Because I've always felt very strongly about an artist that owns the data, or whoever owns the data, is the one that's actually in the most power. So we have structured our entire business around we do collect the data yes but we collect it to visualize it back to the artist so they can in turn better market themselves to hopefully sell more tickets more merch and more albums we're not in the business of taking data and giving it to procter and gamble so they can sell more shampoo or something like that we want to make sure that artists are able to take that stuff so we actually created a dashboard in our system that's in addition to Shopify's that kind of looks like a, a Spotify for artists, 30,000 foot view. And then here's my top fan in this particular state, in this city, uh, that kind of thing. So that way we, we've always had kind of gone about things in the sense of let's make everything as transparent as possible. And as long as, we, because ultimately the way that our entire business model works is if you sell more albums, if you sell more tickets, ultimately, if you sell more NFTs, the better that we do as a business. So there's a symbiotic relationship. We want you to succeed. And how can we help you use your own data to do that? Um, yeah, data is very, very important. And any platform that is not giving it to you is ultimately the one that's actually creating the relationship with your fans.